no gunshots, but they get in Hey, what's up you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video on Parker's Prairie. <clears throat> so, we are continuing right where we left off in yesterday's video. Except this time, I'm now back at home, so I have my steering wheel and uh, all of that stuff, so... Holy smokes, definitely not going in cab. Uh, I think I'm gonna have to get rid of that ground response mod, because it's kind of annoying. Um, so I was doing a little bit of research here the other day, or well, last night I guess, uh, about some stuff with the Seasons mod, and I found that, uh, unless your map is set up for Seasons mod, your bales will disappear. So, either I'm gonna have to mess with the map and get it set up for Seasons mod, or I'm going to have to just stick to the crops um, and not <clears throat> and not do cattle. Um, I would kind of like to do cattle, but then again, not if my bales are just going to disappear. Um, if you guys remember the hauling hay videos on Central Valley, well, after the second video, I fast forwarded a couple of days so that way I could get the crops ready to harvest and I went back and all my bales were gone that I had in the shed so yeah um, <clears throat> so I'm not exactly sure um, I'll put an icon up top and you guys can vote uh, should we just stick to crops or should I mess with the map and get it set up for Seasons mod so that way um, we can do the crops and not have our bales disappear. Uh, you guys vote for that. Because this map is not set up yet. Uh, as far as I know. I might, I think what I might do is after this video I'll fire up another save game. And I'll mow some grass and whatever and make a few bales and stack them in the shed that I plan to stack them in. And then fast forward some time and just see what happens. See if they stay, because if they stay, then uh, we'll just you know keep going with the way that we're going. So I won't put the icon, I will just do some testing first and then find out what's going to happen and then then I'll see or actually yeah you, you guys can still vote I'll leave the icon up there actually uh, I'll just test it out anyways there are definitely some large fields on this map in all honesty if I wanted to be unrealistic I would go and plant right across this grass strip and just plant field 41 at the same time because I'm going to be planting it eventually and these two are right next to each other but I'm not going to do that. The uh, Our course play driver will probably be in that field and we'll be in uh, like field 12 or 13 or something like that because fields 2 2, 4, 41, 12, 13, 1, and 14 are all going to be wheat. 3, 7, 8, and 9 will be one crop. I haven't decided beyond the wheat. <laughs> so. And that other guy is on his like third time around and we haven't even finished our first time around. That's kind of sad. Okay, we're just going to 
cut through some corner out. Because I know course play will make the combine go that way anyway, so wouldn't even pick it all up. That guy's still got, he's still half full of seed, so he's got the same amount of fertilizer left as we do. The fertilizer usage isn't as high as the uh, seed usage is, though, so it takes, it takes longer to use up all the fertilizer, which is definitely kind of nice. Horse play driver, point away. So he should be on his last headland, headland, and then when he gets over to that side, he'll start going up and down. Yeah, definitely next time uh, I fire up this save game, I'm going to, well, actually the next time I close the game, I'm going to delete that uh, ground modification thing, or ground response, whatever the heck it is, because I really don't care for it. <laughs> Curious to see something. Yeah, some blue over going like that. Okay. Uh, yeah, 50% on seeds, 83% on his fertilizer. There's definitely going to be a lot of planting ahead. Uh, anything that we plant with the DB should go pretty fast, though, because it's it's really large. Maybe I should have gone with the seed hawks, <laughs> but oh well, we'll get there in due time. Which I've had lots of requests that I play. Upper Mississippi River Valley once the uh, version 1 or version 2 whatever he's calling it comes out uh, other than the beta uh, which I most likely will because it looks like an awesome map uh, I just I won't play the beta uh, I'll wait until the good version is released because uh, from what I've heard beta has quite a few issues and I don't really care to deal with them I guess so I'll just wait which I think I don't think it's gonna be too much longer until uh, until he releases the good version um, from what I saw in his last video 
I think he's not too far off from being done with some stuff, so. So I've had a lot of people ask me if I'm going to be converting my map over. Um, I will be. And in fact, I'd like to start on it sometime this week, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I do have a different project. And when I say different, I mean kind of definitely different. Um, I have a little project I'm going to be working on, so uh, I'm going to try and get that done as well which it's a it should be pretty simple but but um, I am gonna convert it over and finish it for 17 uh, I'll have to of course make some changes since beef is not in FS 17 uh, as of yet anyways but uh, so yeah uh, it will be converted over, and it'll be, I'll set it up for Seasons Mod, of course, and I'll have, of course, have multi-fruits and all that stuff, so, just gotta get started on it one of these days. Just not exactly sure when, I guess, but soon I will be, we'll get it converted over and get it all finished up. Quite a few days of rain coming up here. What I see. We got plenty of sunshine today. Excuse me. Today though. No rain in the forecast, but Tuesday there is. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. The entire weekend is supposed to rain. And uh on our last day of spring and beginning of summer, I don't exactly know what it is yet. Uh, the forecast doesn't quite go that far. Seasons, seasons mod is definitely very nice, but it also has these things that are kind of a pain in the butt, like the little issue with uh, the hay and stuff. You know, not playing nice, and that kind of kind of gets to be a pain in the butt, but what can you do, I guess? Man, this is going to take forever. Oh well. Maybe we might have to upgrade to seed hawks, or you know, keep these planters and get seed hawks as well. Uh, or probably just keep this set up and then just buy a couple big buds and a couple seed hogs because these fields here you know there are quite a few smaller fields that it would uh, you know it'd be nicer to use this versus the seed hog so I, I don't know I think we might just because otherwise this is going to take forever I mean, it'll still take a while, even with the seed hawks, especially on that field 10. I don't even want to know how big that is. Let's see if this will tell me. Hundred and fourteen hectares, all in one field. Wow. That's like that's like a couple hundred acres there. That's definitely a section at minimum yeah I think that's I think that's what we'll do we'll 
finish off our headland with this thing and then we'll take this back to the yard and we'll go get a seed hawk and a couple of them and use those or actually see what are we doing for time here 15 yeah okay so we'll yeah we'll uh we'll keep planting for a little bit i don't know we'll get everything set up and then by the next video we, sh we should be able to get going with the seed hawks uh, i am going to let the john deere finish in the field that he's in though uh, just because it's already started and i'll just let it finish and then i'll I'll go get the, uh, you know, the other seed hawk. I'll put him right away on for 41 there. But for like, you know, 15, 16, 17, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, those are all definitely going to be planted with this. Um, because, you know, that's, that's if it's something with grain, you know, something that this plants. Um, if it's something with the DB, they really won't take very long at all. We'll be able to do that all by hand, most likely. But this is... Yeah, this is definitely going to take forever. It's taken almost taken let's see between last video and this video it's taken at least a half hour just to go two times around this field so you know that kind of says says something it says uh yeah hey it's gonna take a long time so we'll go ahead and we'll take this guy back and we'll clean him up and then, uh, we'll get a couple seed hawks have them delivered to the farm and then we'll uh, get them filled up and get them going so then we can do one headland with the seed hawk and really open it up and then uh, we'll do our ups and downs passes I will do a little bit off camera work and get the seed hawks rolling and whatnot. Um, so that way, you know, in the next video it's not setting them up, it's actually going and planting with them. So get this folded up and while that does that, we'll go ahead and pick up a couple big buds. Of course, we'll go for the 747s with... And we'll go with twins on them. We don't need triples. Alright, sewing machines. See, now this one I know fills from a truck. Uh, unlike the other one. I mean, this one fills from a pallet. So it should you would think fill from a truck or trailer but this is farm sim and it does some um, really dumb stuff so oh yeah we still got uh, db90 sitting down there Wanted to make sure I get at least one of those before it, uh... Whoa! What the heck? <laughs> okay, come on. Okay, let's go here. What the heck's wrong with you? Whoa! <laughs> well, that did not work at all. Come on. 
tip back over, would ya? Okay, well, we're gonna need the other one just to tip that one back over. Definitely get a lot of leg with all this equipment in the yard here. But that's just because there's tons and tons of machines all in one spot. Alright, fine, we'll just re reset it. There we go. So that one's just gonna sit there. Okay, we'll just use this one to hook onto this setup here. I did take out manual attaching as well, because it just was... It is nice, but it does kind of get annoying after a while, and it was getting annoying, so I just took it out. Uh, it is still in my mods folder, I just don't have it activated on this save game here. But... Alright, so we'll go ahead and we'll get this one filled up. Um, okay, so what is our C tank B? Um, so then, I just want to get these courses set up for the other fields. So this is the... That was in the northeast, heading south with two headlands there so F2 seed hawk okay and then that's the same F4 seed hawk okay so now we can delete the field 4 course for that Need a folder for Seed Hawk. Okay, so now we need our seed truck. Which is which one of these? And so it's that one, okay. Okay, so we need to go Alt H, L, F2, and set my speed to 3. Because I want to grab this screenshot before it quits dumping. There we go. Holy smokes, it's going to take a lot of this truck here. gonna have to refill this truck before it uh dang it's not even full yet okay well we'll go ahead and we'll uh get this guy set to refilling and then we'll just dump the fertilizer in this seeds right here yes Set that to the fertilizer first. Uh, open fertilizer tank. There we go. 
Well, I don't have to run quite as fast this time because I know that it's going to take a while. of this truck it takes. I know it doesn't take quite as much fertilizer as it does seed. But it is still going to take most of this truck. Yeah, most of it. So we'll get this set to refilling it as well. Our other truck should just about be done. Yeah, it is done refilling. It's not going to take a whole lot, but I just want it to be completely full. Yeah, it took like nothing. Okay, so then we'll go ahead and we'll get this guy closed up. It's kind of funny that you can't fill this end one. It just has nothing in it. But anyhow, let's get the heck out of here with this thing and get it over to the field. Get this monster going here. Okay, so we are ready to go for field 41 as well. put it to 40 and then we'll record the field edge course for it and then or make the field edge and then get the uh, course set up and get it going. Where are we even going to fit through here? Tight fit. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, that's not good at all. Hmm. Let's go like this. Let's get the pickup. I should have gone into the grass a little more. That would have, uh, That's what I'll have to do, because that'll line it up a little straighter this next time here. You can tell these gateways really weren't made for this large of equipment. Holy smokes, I can't even budget. run at it if we can. Oh, dang. I have to figure out something else here. Hmm. You maybe should have bought the uh, one with singles. Here's what we'll do. We'll just pull this off to the side here. And then we'll just hook onto the air cart here. I don't think there's trains on this map, so... I'm kind of hoping there's not. Let's go like this. Let's angle it. Man, 
I really hate gates and collision fences. I guess that's one way to do it. Not exactly the way that I was thinking of. I guess I was close enough to the gate for it to uh, recognize the mouse click. That is one thing that I kind of find annoying about the way that doors and stuff are in 17. But I do like how on like, uh, what map was it? County line all the doors actually like you could roll it up you know you could open it a crack or you could open it all the way up or halfway or whatever like it didn't you know like on uh, Central Valley you just click the mouse and it opens all the way you don't hold it or anything I think that was kinda neat so what we'll do we'll get this guy set up here and then uh, I'll get the other seed hawk off camera. I'll get the other seed hawk uh, reset to the farm. I'll get it filled up. I'll get the trucks topped off, and then I'll get the one headland done here. And then when we're ready to start going up and down, I will uh, um, be recording for the next video, I guess. So let's go ahead and get him going here. I'm definitely going to have to make adjustments to all of my field fences on my map as well uh, to accommodate the seed hawk here. Because I'm definitely going to want to use it on my map at, you know, at some point once I get uh, built up far enough. path going here. This is 41 correct? Yes. How big is it? 55.47. Dang, that's a big field. Okay, where is our starting point? Ah, it's going to be down there a little ways. That's kind of not where I wanted it. Let's stop the driver here. We're going to do the northwest instead. And head south. Do it that way. 